Welcome to part two of phase two of my Troop Carrier's Performance Improvement Package. That was a mouthful. Established in 1996, Forex Overland is the world's first global overland expedition channel. Join us as we explore the world by four-wheel drive. Where am I now? <laughs> well, I fitted a three and a half inch exhaust. Well, we're pretty much done then. You know, the sound is okay. So all we need is just a little bit of a dump pipe there. So we An upgraded air box and raised air intake snorkel. And now they call the module map. Torquit module map modifies the engine's ECU settings to set it up for increased power, torque, but most importantly for me, more efficient cruising. We have now received three map files that have been returned to us uh, from Torquit. We are now going to install them into that guy. And then once we do that, then we select which one we're going to put into there. There's a standard tune, a cruising yeah. tune, and yeah. a performance tune. I think so that we're really impressed, we should straight away put the performance tune in. So what you're saying is we should go for shock and all, and then just run it on the... Th yeah. So we want to see the maximum difference. We don't want to gradually step up. We, we, we've established the baseline, so we know what factory right. feels like. Let's put maximum okay. power straight away. You probably use the cruising tune most of the time. I think you'll probably only use the cruising tune, which is fuel saving. The performance tune probably isn't. That is just give us the power. So that's done. Yes, it's so easy to do. And we're done. So now you can really hoon around. I like it. I actually like that sound. Go in there, I think. I hubba, hubba, hubba. <laughs> From three, it would struggle to get past three. After three, there was nothing left. Here, know, that went here. straight past, past four without any difficulty at all. That is seriously good brakes. It's probably the best brakes no, that, that I've ever felt. That's a bloody good brake. Because <laughs> nearly truly brakes are rubbish. And and heavy you kind of when you when you put your foot on the brake it's kind of break yeah. this thing is just you relax and it just stops it does man and the sound is nice coming from it it is nice it's a very nice sound but it, the trouble is with the sound it just drones on cruise it drones when you cruise right that, that was the, the main reason for doing this i mustn't lose sight of that it was not to not for power it was for economy I need to stick with that. See how you go. I mean, with the different tunes, depending on how you drive them, that will dictate the economy. I think it will just be a but I'm trial a and error. But I'm a gentle driver anyway. When I'm on the open road, I, I, I am thinking about consumption. So I am yeah. driving in that particular way. Yeah. And this thing was heavy on fuel. Yeah. So now I'm going to remove the performance setting and replace it with the cruise setting and take it on a trip. The idea of the module map is that at any time I can change the setting according to the mission. And you just follow the instructions on that. Yeah, it's so easy. So I want to thank Torquit for um, allowing me to indulge myself and experiment with uh, improving performance of my vehicle. As I said before, that it's, it's mainly cruising, fuel consumption that I'm interesting and that motivated this. And of course, they said, hey, we've got all of these products. Um, how would you like to do this? What would you like to test? What would you like to experiment? So there are four things that I fitted of theirs. The exhaust pipe. At the moment, to me, the exhaust pipe makes it sound beautiful. It's a lovely note. It's got that lovely V8 growl. But I'm thinking that it's probably too much for me because I'm looking for performance, not at the expense of uh, comfort. And, uh, you know, when I'm driving at 80, 90, 100, 110, there is a, 
there, there's more noise. There's more noise in the cab from the exhaust pipe. So I said to them, I'm not sure if this product is ideal for me. And in terms of its, the amount of performance I'm getting out of it in terms of you know, just the exhaust pipe alone, what difference is the exhaust pipe making to the overall performance of the car? If I said 5%, I'd be extremely generous. It's probably close to 2%. So if those small percentages are important to you, then yes, it'll contribute. I should say right here that right now I've been on a trip, I've come back and uh, I'm going to give you all the results of the fuel economy tests. But Talkit saw this video and said, you know, I think you're not giving the exhaust pipe enough credit. So I'm going to do another test with the exhaust pipe to give them a chance to prove themselves right. The snorkel. Now, I, I know that snorkels such as these do improve performance and again how much I would say conservative guess more than the exhaust definitely more than the exhaust four five six percent perhaps they can also be a little bit noisy at low speeds like this is which means that 90% plus minus of the performance improvements are coming from the chip and how much we will soon find out but the other part about this that is improving not just the performance but the feel of the car the enjoyment of driving it is the throttle controller without having to go through what the throttle controller does again it's fantastic. It just makes the vehicle feel more responsive, more lively, less hard of hearing to the commands of one's right foot. However, it's probably going to have a detrimental effect on the fuel economy. So the fuel consumption measurement was done with the throttle controller turned off. Um, that's important because I believe the throttle controller, while it makes the car s much nicer to drive, more responsive, and, I, and I'm actually sold on it, 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 it will affect your fuel consumption. It will increase, there, there's, there's a price to pay for that extra performance. And um, I, I, I've now turned it back up, and for the first time now using the throttle controller on the middle setting, with the power increase and the car is just alive it's so nice to drive right i've just filled up with fuel i've got two fuel consumptions to work out one is open road and some off-road i've just done the calculation for uh open road returning at this is almost this is 90 percent of this is uh, on the open road 100 kilometers an hour 110 etc and a remarkable best fuel consumption i've ever recorded in a v8 land cruiser 11.9 liters per 100 kilometers 8.4 kilometers per liter that's amazing i need to i have one more calculation to do and that is a correction for inaccuracies in my odometer which means instead of 8.4 kilometers per liter, it was actually 8.1, which gives me a fuel consumption of 12.3 liters per 100 kilometers. All right, so if I had to choose what to do with the three Torquid products, if you're thinking about them, this is what I would do. If you want your car to sound nicer, that somebody in a troopy, um, if you want the car to sound nicer, the exhaust pipe is fantastic, but don't be wary of the really big one, the three and a half inch one, because even with my side steps, I, we struggled and, it, and it, we couldn't get it to clear easily. I, I would go the smaller one. I, I, it, the difference in sound between the two, I, won't, I don't believe will be massive and, and the, 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 the three inch as opposed to three and a half is going to be a lot easier to fit and you won't you probably less chance of a rattle issue all right if you want performance if that's your okay uh, pure pure grunt performance pulling power towing 
da 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 then uh, it's without question is the module map There's, it's a, it's an, in fact if you just want your car to perform better the module map is is the way to go and then the throttle the, the, the throttle controller <clears throat> is is nice it's not a need to it's just it just adds that little bit of extra feel to the car and uh, in terms of the air intake this air intake was difficult to fit not easy to fit it meant cutting a large hole in the panel I think it looks very very nice um, it is quieter than the standard raised air intake when at speed and more noisy a lot more noisy when driving slow so in driving through the bush I mean now in the traffic I cannot hear it <clears throat> I cannot hear with the windows closed I cannot hear the oh it's got a nice pulling it just pulls uh, just touching the throttle and it just pulls anyway and it and it's quieter at speed because of the wind noise but I found it a little disturbing not a lot but it was there I could hear it driving slowly in the bush and I could hear it going you know the sucking thing and <clears throat> which was a bit noisy okay a bit noisy I love the look of it and if that is contributing to the better fuel consumption I believe it is a contributing factor small small but a contributor the module map massive contributor exhaust well I took the exhaust out I have actually removed the exhaust because the noise for me <clears throat> when driving long distance I like to get like not long distance and I like to do long days and the fatigue factor is a big deal because the fatigue factor is is increased with noise with in-car noise that's why I spent all of that money and weight on sound insulation in the troop carrier to reduce interior noise mainly because it reduces fatigue by putting in that exhaust you're adding noise <clears throat> and it's quite a lot of noise it's not a little noise it's a lot so if that's important to you you don't need the exhaust. But as I said, next year I'm going to give a talk at the benefit of the doubt and try another exhaust system. I hope that summarizes and gives a fair review on these products that I put in. The exhaust pipe was very easy to swap back to its original one because it was very easy to fit the, the, uh, the, the torquid exhaust. Extremely easy to fit. Two of us did it in about two and a half hours. Uh, without a lift so there you go I'm very pleased with what I've got and I and I love this fifth gear I mean I was driving recently and sitting at fifth at 100 k's an hour and having to get past a truck squirt boom past the truck oh so nice not that standard car is necessarily underpowered but it's also not overpowered and look at the fuel consumption I, it's done it's I have achieved what I set out to achieve no question about it thank you for listening <laughs>